Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 17, part 18 of my Let's Play of Fukan no Grasista's trial version. Today we're going to go see a noble. Oh, just dangle this in front of us, why don't you? So, this is our benevolent noble, huh? This girl doesn't seem to belong in this yeah, dimly lit space. But she's surrounded upon both sides by guards from Grasesta and walks through deliberately. It seems that the the story has spread amongst the slaves. Everyone is desperately calling out to her to get themselves bought. <laughs> you can make use of me. I'll do anything. Please let me out of here. So she looks sidewise at the various slaves trying to get themselves bought. But she doesn't stop walking. And one by one, she looks them over. But it seems like she doesn't. None of them catch her fancy, let's say. She doesn't show any reaction as she walks through the container of slaves. And the noble in question comes before Jedal. She's a maiden. Her skin's so fair you can almost see through it. That actually sounds kind of creepy, though. But, for whatever reason, she abruptly comes to a stop. As she's carefully looking at him, she peers at him with these eyes that... these big eyes that seem to suck him in. Oh god, the schmaltz. Well, why she decided to stop in front of Jadal, he doesn't know. But even not knowing that, it's advantageous. Her position, her authority. Let's try and make use of it. You are. Yes, I see. Truly, you do seem an interesting person. Even with a noble in front of you, you don't change your attitude. You're not trying to put on airs in order to get a good reception here, I can see. No matter what, you're natural. Along with these, <laughs> well, Jadal doesn't fully understand what she's trying to get at. But as she says these words, she smiles gently. So, looking at her and the way she acts, she has a womanly mood about her. It kind of, it has a, it leaves an impression that, leaves an impression that pierces through him. If that's the way you see it, it's because there's no meaning to 
putting on airs here. So, I was going to say that 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 I was going to No, rather, if I put on a facade of being powerful, and even if you accept it, at some point, the facade will break. I see. It's because you have self confidence. You don't need to put on falsehood here. If I wish to judge you, then judge me as I am without any accompaniment, is what you're saying. Oh, Jadal's playing mysterious here. And so the slaves that were all calling out so vociferously, as if saying to that to them, it's almost as if she is saying that to them. Yahari,興味深いお方のようですね,あなたは. <laughs> As expected, you are an interesting person. Even though all she's doing is looking at Jadal's face, he feels a coldness that seems to penetrate into his, into the depths of his heart. Uh, yeah, sure. So, here bathed in the light of the moon, the qu girl quietly continues talking. You are very strong, it seems. The light residing in your eyes says, powerful. Is that so? Well, I might be strong compared to those around here. You're not going to say you are the strongest. You should already understand. There's no meaning to saying it. Proving it with your words is another form of facade, right? Right. There's no meaning to any strength you convey in your words. There are any number of lies that you can make up. Well, if what you want is somebody who can talk a big fight, I guess the, it's a different story then. Oh, you notice you can see Yutre's elbow and Yutre's leg here. It's unfortunate, but, well, whatever. So, her glance sharpens up a bit. It seems we've gotten her attention succeeded in getting her attention. Even if it's not a good interest she's showing, as long as the conversation continues, it's to my advantage. What's your reason for deliberately coming here for a slave? 
a noble, having the money and authority to do, could easily take an assault soldier, one of the free swords. But why are you looking for a slave? It's simple. I'm looking for a person who can survive no matter what, who has the strength to survive no matter what the circumstances. For that, I should be looking for a person who is currently living in the worst of circumstances. That's what I considered. Strength to survive, huh? In that case, there really is no point to your coming down here and looking around. If you don't look at us while we're on the battlefield, it's impossible to judge just what our strength will allow us to survive. Are you saying that I was lacking in worldly knowledge by coming here to look for people? I won't deny that. <laughs> Jidal is thinking he might be a little bit too abrasive here. In any case, she blushes. She actually blushes slightly. Do you not want to wish the do you not wish to leave this place? I do want to. This boring ass place. I plan on getting out here as soon as humanly possible. Hmm. Even so, here you are. You have a way of getting out right in front of you and you're not putting in any effort. Don't you think you'll be seen as lazy, slovenly? I don't mind. If I can convince you by flattering you, it's a different story, though. Will you show me proof of your strength? I would like to show you, in reality, but I have no opportunity. Very unfortunate. Opportunity? I see. If you had such an opportunity, you will show me your strength, right? Yeah, just like that. I'd be thankful if I could get permission from a noble. I see. That's what you're getting at. The Interceptor Corps had lost all of its usual uh, poise lately. They couldn't even handle regular requests. That wasn't normal, obviously. Taking it with the information we have, shortly there will be another demon cataclysm coming up. At least that's what we speculate. But according to what we've heard, only criminals who have created only criminals who are forced into it and certain powerful 
assault soldiers are allowed to participate in it. Shariella, Shariella also was uh, not giving us permission, although she wasn't being all too uh, confrontational about it. I don't have any intention of being the pet soldier for a novel, but if I can get proper permission, I can use this opportunity. That's why I'm, that's why Jadal is stringing her along through this conversation. But contrary to expectation, the noble maiden actually displays an expression that is uh, calming. あなたは細胞の発生が近づいていると全て知っていて、私を会話に引き込んでいるのですね。Ah, she's caught on. You know that the cataclysm is coming, and that's how you, and that's why you pulled me into this conversation. How you've led this conversation here. Hmm, well. Okay, she's figured me out. But she's realized it and that's not all bad either. But you've already experienced it, haven't you? That demon cataclysm. It is truly horrible, you know? For that very reason, I can prove that I have the strength to... the strength to survive it, I think. It is as you say, but I don't want anyone to die because you will never meet again. I can't stand it. Hmm. Talk about naive. Ah, uh, is she saying this from her heart? That'd be convenient. Or perhaps in the past she lost somebody to death. And for that reason her heart has been scarred. Well, even so. Since we have this opportunity to, to speak with her, even though she's only had this opportunity to speak with us, she's afraid of losing us. Huh. Well, I'll speak to that fear of yours. But there's a limit to how much you can worry about me. No, there's a limit to the mistakes you can make, such as worrying about me. I'll prove to you I won't die. I must have said so already. You, oh, you said so already. You want someone who possesses the strength to survive no matter what the circumstances. So even that horrible demon cataclysm 
won't be able to cause you to die. I've survived it once already. It's not impossible to do it a second time, I think. You've already survived it once. This noble said that already. So she's already got information on Jadal. And the fact that he saw the cataclysm once. Hmm, that was true. In truth, you did once survive it. As if chewing on Jadal's words, she... She silently... St uh, considers things. <laughs> yes, I understand. I believe you. Right. Don't look at me with those pure, innocent eyes like that. It makes me uncomfortable. Hey, Jadal's such a bad boy. I acknowledge your firm will. So, I'm going to start an explanation of what it is to participate. In the demon cataclysm, in the soldiers participating in the demon cataclysm, there are those who committed crimes, and there are those who can't earn a lot of guild points. In fact, there are many amongst those soldiers. So these people are given a strip, a talisman for breaking demons by the uh, Interceptor Corps, or rather it's affixed to them, or in them, or something. So, even if they are to lose, to fall in battle, and worst case, they get captured and eaten, they will continue to defeat monsters by dissolving them from the inside. Oh, awesome, that means I'm poisonous to monsters if I take this. In other words, the soldiers are expected to die from the very start. That's what the plans have in... That's what the preparations have in store for them. Of course, those that survive are greatly rewarded. It looks like it'll wrap up without getting boring. Naturally, if you're going to participate, you too will have this script affixed to you. Are you prepared? I don't need to be prepared. If there was a monster that was able to kill me, for that very reason, I'd use that script and take him with me. After all, I am the strongest in this country. 
先だけの証明は好まないのでは<笑> I thought you didn't like to brag about your strength. <laughs> Prove your strength with your words. I reconsidered my plan about not flattering the noble. Think of it as thanks for the interesting conversation here. May I inquire, what is your name? Jedal Shvarka. Yahari, another that one is me. What does she want? Lilica Lustine to him. Hmm, as expected, I thought it was you. I am Lilica. Lilica Rustine. Great, she's introduced herself. And. And. Taiken Ban wa kore ni te shuyo des. Otskare sama de shita. And with that, the trial version is complete. Thanks for playing. Kono ato wa. もう少し他の方たちと出会えるダイジェストシーンもご用意してあります。After this, there are a few digest scenes in which you can meet some other characters. このまま体験版を終了することもできますが、どうしますか？ Just like this, you can end the trial version. But what are you going to do? Oh, that's obvious. Save and do both of them in time. Chikara of Shimesh, Nariagar RPG, Fukan no Grassista, Nisen Juhatine, Hatsbai Yate. Okay. Now, this is the bonus disc you can get if you pre order. Okay. So, this is the trial version. And the trial version ends by advertising for the commercial version. Obviously. It also showed you a quick pick of the bonus disc you get if you pre-order. Although by the time this video gets online, you probably have less than a day, well, a little more than a day, left to do the pre-order. In any case, thoughts on the trial version. I thought it was really clever of them to hold back the main hero in all the way to the end. Then give you her name and then cut out. One of those little marketing things. A hook, you know. She seems to be an interesting character. They've implied in a couple of places that she's not a normal human. There's a promotional audio clip where she says, let's see. I am a normal human, it's just that a little bit of my, the characteristics of my body are different. I'm going to speculate that this has something to do with why she decided to visit the slave pit at night rather than during the day. Perhaps she's allergic to sunlight? Uh, that might be a little too simple. In any case, you can see here on the title screen. She's in the background, and this little doll form of her is in the foreground. So she can't participate in battles normally, for whatever reason. But when she comes in as a PC, it's as a doll. Well, or something. There's a lot of speculation here because the commercial version isn't out yet. As for actually doing a Let's Play of the full version, I'm going to have to step back and say no. 
Unfortunately, this game really doesn't have enough audience to justify a full Let's Play. Well, I guess that's all I have to say about it right now. I feel like I'm forgetting something, so sorry. In any case, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.